have to that is Xax, who came from NorCal, and I think he moved into SoCal. But at this point, he's basically a uh, SoCal native himself, Xax. And it looks like we have a me character being set up. Are they gonna go Sans? That is what I'm wondering. Gunner, okay, if you're not going Sans, I'm going to be very disappointed. I. One, 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 three. It's almost become the, um, sorry, it's almost become like cool not to pick him now. Uh, just looks like he's just opting for regular me gunner with uh, one, 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 three. I don't, I'm not very familiar with the me move sets. That's basically the default move set, except for number three down special. I think that's an absorbing vortex. Maybe the reason he chose that. I'm not sure why he chose that. Uh, we'll have to see as this match evolves. Then we'll figure out like why he chose these specials in particular. Let's see how well he uses them against trees. Well, Luigi. All of the um, all of the moves have some kind of use. I'm sure most me gunners are comfortable with different ones. Uh, what I'm interested to see is whether we'll see a trainer up tilt here decide to switch them out depending on the first how the first game goes out goes he, he didn't go pokemon trainer so i guess he just likes up tilt in general just oh and there we have it that's why he has that down special he just absorbed luigi fireball and now he's comboing with that sort of pk fire like move yeah so that's interesting in most cases that uh because of that uh, intangibility, I believe that the Luigi's uh, down B has. It will not trade with things. It will actually beat out a lot of moves. But because the side B is like PK fire and it has multi hit, uh, it actually beats out that move. Oh yeah, very good point. Oh, and that that movement with the forward air, I think, was so crisp. I love it. I love just seeing player like a lot, some characters have the moves that sort of push them back and forth. Like Lucas's PK Fire, for example. Yeah. And seeing those incorporated into a move set, I just love to see it. Oh. They actually had a, a more ability to move in the previous game. Okay, missing oh. the first down B, uh, up B, but getting the second ones. Yeah, that's one thing you have to be very wary of when playing a Luigi. You cannot go for anything unsafe with a lot of N lag. Especially when he's like, don't go for unsafe moves on Luigi's shield, or that's just a, a free kill, free sure you can. Yeah, so nice use of that side B there from Craner Up Tilt, uh, forcing Tree off the ledge and then uh, punishing with the charge shot. Uh, charge shot's actually really good for uh, edge guarding. You'll see that with uh, Samus, and um, but with this character, you can actually pressure care pressure other people while they're on the ledge using that side B. Ooh, Ooh the nice PK fire into the charge shot. Whoa! Is he trying to shine spike him? That was amazing. He used like I think every special move in that sequence. I am I'm in awe. That was nice. Uh, maybe a little early side B there from Tree, but uh, great edge guard coming out from Trainer up tilt there. All right, but Tree. Oh, yeah, sharking so with smart. the up air. That hitbox goes up so high. It's almost as high as Richter's. There's a down smash. We still have not seen an up tilt. Are we gonna see at least one? Oh, uh, okay. okay. Now Tree. he's just fishing for misfire. I don't think he believes in himself taking this game. When you're up, when you're like elegant and you're up three stocks to one, yeah, you can go for a misfire. When you're down 116%, you you should you should try a little harder. I still believe in you, Tree. Never mind. <laughs> you did it. Uh, he, 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 uh, I think that was the JV. That, that was still pretty dominating. Even though it was just one stock to zero, I feel like just... Trainer up tilt has so much mastery of this character that Tree seemed a little bit disheveled is the word, I think. Disheveled? Disheveled, yes. I knew I mispronounced something on stream. Um, yeah, so he, uh, did did he switch moves there? No, no, oh, no still, he's still sticking with that one. Um, yeah, so he actually ran off the platform and uh, uh, B reversed that uh, charge shot there to catch Tree off guard there and close out that stock. Yeah, that was a smart way to close out game one. 
However, straight into game two, same stage, same characters. Let's see how Tree adapts. Yeah, well, we've seen Tree is able to take advantage of these situations where Trainer uh, puts himself in a bad spot and then uh, get the up B to close out these stocks. But I don't think uh, Trainer's going to give it to him so easily this next time. So he really next, he needs to make some big adjustments. And he, he, he keeps on going for the... Okay, oh, okay. I see why you're going for the misfire. Now. He okay. gets it. Okay, you, you got your luck, though. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't try it so many times. I'm kind of mad about a, that, actually. I wonder if it's a misinput. I see a lot of side Bs and down Bs coming out from Tree, and pretty much every time Trainer up tilt is ready to just go in for the punish. He's in range to, like, get a forward air or even a forward smash in some cases. Yeah, I mean, I feel like maybe trolling your opponent is a legitimate tactic. We maybe uh, hoping to he's hoping to make Trainer make some more mistakes, but uh, that was a clean edge guard there coming out from Trainer. That was the first time I have seen Nair kill like that. I didn't even know Nair could kill like that, but Trainer uh, does. A whole Trainer lot of moves can kill when, that, when you're that close to the blast zones, and just whipping that grab and paying the price for it. Yeah, that's one thing I'm noticing a lot in this matchup between these two players. Just a lot of whiff, whiff punishes. Because I feel like both of these characters, they don't have the best frame data. Or like, well, Tree, I'd Oh, say he gets we'll, another misfire there. Oh, but the PK fire cancels it out. So unfortunate. Yes, uh, Luigi's still very exposed when he goes for the side beat. Um, yeah, yeah, you'll see a lot of Luigi's go for that up B because they can just go straight back to the ledge. Um, if you're expecting them to do it, you can punish it, but it happens so fast. And I feel like there's kind of a component to it where you're like, oh, I almost died there. And then you just, you're like so shocked, you back off. Oh, yeah, I totally get that. All right. And there's not a lot that me, Gunner, can get off that anyway. All right. All right, punishing an uppy with the down smash. This Another misfires. misfire, but this time yeah, it that, works in Trainer's favor. I mean, there wasn't a lot of... I don't know what he was doing getting... This is what I'm talking about, with punish. You, you get, you miss a move, and then you just die for it in this matchup. Just, it's so back and forth between these two players. I won't be surprised if we went to a game three despite Trainer generally having the upper hand so far. Yeah, a trainer up tilt's just getting a little... He's throwing out some moves that are very punishable when Luigi gets close uh, and, and making those errors. Whoa, drag down up air into, into the up tilt. That's where he got it from. He's making Tree's job too easy is, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, nice dash dance. And, and that was an excellent confirm. Trainer up tilt proving that me gunner could be viable. That that looks pretty dominant. Well, all characters in the